Hey everybody, my name is Tyler Watson, you're Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is Tour Time with Tyler and welcome to Silverado Valley. Let's check out this model. But don't forget again, click the first link down in the description. You may have to copy and paste it into the URL. But that is my second channel where I'm doing my home buying and selling seminars and all that good stuff. I'm going to have uh, live Q&As. I am putting it all together. It should be coming very, very shortly. But let's get into this one. So this one right here, this is the Kingsbury. This is a three bed, two and a half bath, 2,000 and 51 square feet two car garage and it is starting at 382 990 now do me that huge huge favor for the youtube algorithm and click the like button if you are enjoying these tours don't forget i put tours out literally every single day so hit the subscribe button if you want to stay up to date now if you don't know where we are we are in silverado valley which is a community right here about a mile and a half west of the um, South Point Casino. I like how they have this little like covered entry. Really cool. Again, like I always say in all my new tours, if you wanna see a new home, if you are interested in buying a new home, make sure to call a realtor. Don't go into the office, don't go look at the models or fill out information online because the builder will not let you be represented. The sales associates have their fiduciary responsibility to the builder and I've been asked a lot lately do we as the buyer have to pay the commission? No, 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 no. The builder pays the commission. So it really makes sense for you to call a realtor to help out. I love how high these ceilings are. Kind of a cool entry. It definitely brings you to the back right away. You wanna go right to the kitchen. Ooh, this is nice. Before we see the downstairs though, let's go ahead and go on upstairs. Again, if you have any questions about anything I have said, either in this tour or any other tours, please feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to answer any questions you might have. So getting to the top of the stairs, you have kind of a little nook right here. Don't know, maybe uh, like some cabinets or something like that or some storage that you would put here. But right here we get to our first bedroom and it's a pretty nice size bedroom. It's actually a really nice size bedroom. Full size bed, I mean, they, I don't even want to call that other one a nightstand. There's like two desks in here, two big windows. It's a nice size room. This is actually a really big room. I'm just going to step back over here so you can see. They even have a dresser. I'm actually pleasantly surprised with how large this room is. It does have just a standard two door sliding closet. The ceilings are nine feet in here, which makes the room even feel bigger. They do give you a pre-wire cap in the ceiling, that guy right there, those are called J boxes. What they do is uh, let you choose whatever sort of lighting fixture you want, whether it's a ceiling fan and or light or like a chandelier, you can put that in after you take ownership. Coming down, what is this? We have our linen closet and it's actually a pretty nice size linen closet normally the shelving comes right to the door and you can always put another shelf up above later on if you needed more storage if we spin right here we hit our upstairs bathroom hmm let me know what you think about this by the way everything you're seeing in this bathroom minus the flooring is standard so these are gonna be your standard cabinets standard uh, <clears throat> excuse me undermounted rectangular sink these will be the countertops you get. I know it would be tight, but I feel like since this is servicing the two secondary bedrooms, I would have liked to have seen a second sink. I mean, it's there's plenty of space on the countertops, but let me know what you think down in the comments below. You get your toilet. I mean, it, it's a pretty nice size as far as width bathroom. You have your tub. And this again is a fiberglass composite material. It's not real stone or anything like that. Right up here we have our shower head and we have our valve tub filler. I know a lot of people were actually mentioning that they like the composite material better than tile because you don't have to clean the grout lines. And it is true, it makes it easier to clean. I'm pretty happy with this. I just feel like, honestly, 
maybe the second sync. And I don't know, I'm so curious. Do you guys like those single sync? Do you want the second sync? I know it's easier to clean, so personally it may be better to have that only one. I don't know, I'm very curious to hear what you guys have to say about that. We spin directly across, we get to the next bedroom, and again, nice size bedroom. Full size bed, you could easily do two nightstands. You could get a smaller one and put a desk, or I mean, you could even put a desk over here. I feel like that's where we go, desk right there. You have your window, again, the pre-wire up in the ceiling. They even have, not really the bench, but kind of some lounge area. It's a big room. And we have our standard two-door closet slider. What you could always do is move that bar and shelf up and add a second one. You literally double your closet space. But over that, it, I'm really impressed with how big these bedrooms are. Even the other model I filmed, the bedrooms are really nice size. Coming in, we get to our laundry room. So washer dryer, you will get the shelf up there. I don't know if this community is including the washers and dryers. The builders are literally changing everything like monthly where some things are included and it's, I, I can't keep up with them. It really is crazy with how, how wild it is out here with people. There's so many people moving out here. The builders are changing their prices almost weekly. So they're also changing what they give and what they don't. So I don't know with this community. Nice size master bedroom. So huge bed, king size bed, two big nightstands. Now they won't do the wallpaper on the wall. And I know it never comes up nice on camera, but it's actually really cool. Just with the wide angle lens, it looks really interesting. But this is a big bedroom. Three windows, two trees. I know I always joke about those. Really nice size actually. I mean, you could put a couch in here if you really wanted to. Let's spin around and head on over to that master bath and see what that looks like. Overall, this is a really, really nice size room. Right here, you know, before we check out this closet, we have our toilet area right here. Wow. Oh my gosh, it is so wide. <laughs> this is a big toilet area. Interesting, I mean, it's really nice. There's plenty of room in there. Right here, we have a slider for our linen closet. I mean, if you needed more closet space, you could always pull these shelves out and turn this in to a second closet just because it's, uh, it's pretty big. Normally, they just give you like the little single door. It's quite literally double the size of a standard clo um, linen closet upstairs. Before we check out the vanities, we have our Separate tub, shower, love the fact that they give you the privacy rainwater look glass. Again, same thing, it's the composite material. You will get your soap niche, you will get the bench, and you have your tub. It is oversized by a bit, it's actually a really nice size tub. Let's see if I can spin around over here. Then we have our vanities. Again, this is a standard cabinet, standard countertops, and rectangular unmounted sinks a lot of times like if you want some of this stuff it's an option but with this builder Lenar they actually give it to you all for free if we spin some more we get to our closet and it's a very nice size closet it's actually a really big closet I mean I kind of get what they're saying with this they're saying it could double as a dressing room how many of you would add like uh, there's so much room on this wall it's like I don't know, 10 feet of just empty space. Would you turn this into a dressing room? Again, if you've heard me in some of my other videos, my fiance literally took a bedroom and turned it into her dressing room, but you could easily do it in this room. You could put whatever you want. This is a big, big, I'm gonna call it a bedroom, not a closet, it's huge. Coming out, let's go ahead and head on downstairs, check out the living, check out the dining, the kitchen, all of that good stuff. And again, if you have any questions about this tour, please give me a call. I'd love to help you out in any way possible. But let's go ahead and head on downstairs. Again, also hit that like button if you are enjoying these tours. Make sure to subscribe. Again, I give out $25 Amazon gift cards once a week. So stay tuned for that. So it's a little dark in here right now because they do give you that pre-wire cap. You definitely want to add some sort of lighting. Uh, probably a ceiling fan with light. But... 
It is a nice size living space. Ooh, the kitchen. Very nice. So you have your dining space right here. It's kind of a neat layout. It's very, very open. They will give you the slider. They will give you the covered patio and they will give you the pavers underneath it. But again, like I say in all the tours, everything else will be dirt. And it is up to you to finish it however you so please. Again, average backyard out here is about twelve to fifteen thousand dollars. These are oversized lots compared to what you know a lot of builders give you out here. So it may be more, maybe less, depending on what you do. If you add a pool, add thirty-five grand on at minimum on top of landscaping. It's really, really open. I like this. If we spend some more, we get to our kitchen island. There's so much counter space in here. I have to like back up to get it all in frame. Wow, I do like this stone. They have some really nice counter options. So we have our stainless steel fridge. We have the 42 inch uppers up top. It would be tight to fit four chairs at this island. If you had like maybe smaller or narrower ones, you could. Three is probably comfortable. There's a lot of cabinet. <laughs> I'm so impressed. Before we check out the rest of the kitchen real quick, right here is our pantry. So it's not bad. It may be just a hair bigger than standard and you can always add a second or another shelf up top if you wanted to. Right here is our two car garage and we have our powder room. So. Again, you have your same cabinets you're gonna get in the kitchen, same countertops, same rectangular undermounted sink, your toilet. It's actually a pretty big powder room. Spinning back around to get back into the kitchen. So no sink in the island. I know that's gonna make a lot of you really, really happy that you have the sink above that window back there, but more cabinets. There's, there's a lot of cabinetry and a lot of counter space in here. Just wanna spin around real quick again. So we're gonna have our stainless steel oven and stove with our five burner cooktop. We have our stainless steel microwave and we have our vent that vents outside. I always like to check that. Some people like to ask. You have a window right there, another big window above the sink. Now in this kitchen, they did put a backsplash. So that is an option that you can always pick later on. Uh, when you you know go to pick some of the options, there's not many options that they have. Again, flooring and cabinet or flooring and backsplashes are really it. We have our stainless steel undermounted sink. This guy right here is your water filler for um, bottled water, reverse osmosis, and you can see right out into the backyard. It'd be nice if you had a pool back here, standing at the kitchen sink. And then if we continue on. We have our stainless steel dishwasher more cabinetry. There is a lot of cabinetry over here. They even, if I'm gonna pan back over, they even give you a phone jack way over in the corner if you still are using a landline. So you have that. Let me know what you think about this. Kitchen's nice. I mean, if you want to serve a buffet, well, when we're allowed to have people back over in houses and friends over, uh, you could do a, Quite the holiday feast in this kitchen. <laughs> Again, if you have any questions about anything I have said in this tour or any others, please feel free to contact me. Give me a call, send me a text, shoot me an email. Love to hear from you. Love to help you in any way possible. Hit that like button. Again, it really does help out for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you to everyone who has been subscribing. We have been growing really fast. It's kind of amazing. I hope you're enjoying the tours. It's a lot of fun. Thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.